Hi all! Welcome to our Pitching ABC training series for researchers, brought to you by Scholar, a community of researchers, research funders and science communicators. These trainings are designed specifically to help researchers take their pitching and presentation skills to the next level. You can find all our trainings on our website. In this training, you will learn to create a compelling research pitch deck. Tip number one, speak the same language as your audience. Let go of scientific language. Speaking is different from writing a research paper. This means using simple words like use instead of utilize, near instead of close proximity, and help instead of facilitate. To get your point across, try using metaphors. A good metaphor can be a real aha moment for your audience. For example, could your research method be compared to a coffee maker? Do you combine two substances and then filter something to create a whole new substance? Or perhaps a complex scenario could be compared to a metro map. Take some time to figure out a good way to compare what you're doing with something that's familiar and everyday to your audience. Tip number two, guide your audience through your pitch. As a speaker, it's your responsibility to decide when people should be listening and when they should be reading your slides. Remember, people cannot read and listen at the same time. That's why it's also important to read the text on your slides out loud. Tip number three, make your slides easy to follow. That's super easy, right? This is how you do it. Your slides are not the same thing as your notes. They are there for the audience, not for you. So don't put more than six rows of text on a slide. When speaking, proceed in the same order as your slides. Animate the text by showing one row at a time. To create variation and rhythm, change the amount of text on your slides. You could try just five words or quotes. If you have a big number, make it stand out. You can also use photos or infographics. Just only use one per slide. Simplify your infographics as much as possible. Only use the most important facts. Give your infograph a really good, informative title that clearly states what's important about it. Don't hope that your audience gets it on their own. And finally, your slides are important and helpful for the audience, but you have to be able to pitch without them. You never know, the projector might explode. Good slides, understandable language, that's all you need to help the audience understand your brilliant idea. That was it. Did you learn something new? If you'd like to keep on learning, check out our other videos or get in contact with us. Good luck with your pitch, you've got this.